I'm the only one who knows where that nuke is. Well then, in that case, I'd say you'd better stop. Please, come right in. Welcome. Hi. Have a seat. Thank you. Sit all the way back in the chair, but don't move the chair. Are you old enough to be working in the CIA? I am. As a matter of fact, we already knew that. We have a complete dossier on you. Okay. Welcome to the last step of your application process. Thank you. I'm excited. ¿Qué tal, señores de estos cómo nos encontramos en una entrevista muy padre porque estoy con one of the best directors of comedy like ever. Wow. Paul, how are you, man? Good, Raúl. We after that introduction, I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Sir. Now, living legend, really badass actor. How are you, man? <laughs> nice. Nice to meet you. Best comedians ever. What? Melissa, how are you? So far, this is going great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big fan of this beautiful woman here, Rose Byrne. How are you? Hi, I'm well, how are you? One of the funniest comedians I've ever met. Oh. Miranda, how are you? Hi, thanks for that. That's good, thank you. <laughs> oh my god, why did you do that? I didn't do it on purpose. There's like a ton of pollen in here. How do you feel with this now comedy? You're now in a comedy, how do you feel now? Yeah, I love it, you know, it's, yeah. this movie's put a smile on my face. I haven't done anything <laughs> this th with this much sort of enjoyment for since Lockstock and Two Smoking Barrels. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we had such a scream. Yeah. Every day was a good day. This, I love this movie. It was, yes. a, bla it was a blast to make. And, uh, and I love how it turned out. I mean, I love that Paul had this crazy vision to be like, it's not a spoof. There's not. It's, it's a full action movie. It's a full spy movie. And then we're just adding to the top, and we're going to put comedy on top of it. Yeah. And he's like, none of it. The the first two sections cannot go away to get the third one in. I was like, all right, I'm in. That sounds great. That's great. I'm just a big spy movie fan, and yeah. I always wanted to make like one. And I always thought it would be fun to do a James Bond movie, but realized nobody's going to let <laughs> a comedy director do that. So I thought this is a perfect opportunity because I can write the movie I want to write, but make it for one of the you know the, the funny ladies that I love, and just try to make it like a real action, real you know spy yeah. movie, just that's funny. When I joined the CIA, I thought I was going to be this amazing spy. I'm just the same boring person I was before. We've intercepted chatter that Rayana Boyanov knows where that nuke is. And what about your role? It's like a... I, I think it's the meanest villain I've ever seen. Have <laughs> you got any inspiration from the Bond villains? Or how do you manage to... Uh, I think so, probably in my subconscious. But uh, it's fun, you know, because that part would really be played by a guy in a Bond film. And it was it's so great. Paul just broke convention and, and, and has a woman instead. So I, I had, we had a lot of fun. Your character has uh, kind of a fangirl face. She likes that spy uh, environment. Yeah. Do you like spy movies? Yeah, I do. Like, I don't. I'm not kind of obsessive about yes. them. But as a Brit, you know, we grew up on James Bond, and obviously, yeah. we love our, our Bond. And um, I just. Uh, but first and foremost, I love comedy. So the fact that Paul Feig has combined both and combined it so well is just amazing. To be able to do comedy but play a spy is it's yeah. the ultimate. It's the dream. Seems like your baby faceness is a asset to the department. Absolutely. <sighs> Thank you. My We're mom's prepared proud. to have you infiltrate uh, grade schools, middle schools. Mm, I would say high school, but the truth is, you might not pass. By the time you complete our missions uh, training, our weapons training, our martial arts program, and basically our course, which is literally just called "I Can Turn Anything in This Office Into a Weapon," okay. you're going to be ready for about the most hostile territories we could possibly put you in. She knows the identity of all our agents. We need someone to find the bomb without being detected. I'll do it. Uh, okay, thanks, lunch lady. Is it harder to kick some butt or to make the audience laugh? How I think it's harder to make someone laugh, you know? Yeah. It's easy to hit someone in the head and they go on the ground, shoot, <laughs> you know, it's pretty yeah. simple. Uh, for my, I think so anyway, but you know, humor is a subtle thing, you know, yes. you can't really get it in every, you know, around the world, Yeah. it's a cultural thing, comedy, so it's yeah. sometimes difficult, what is funny in one country ain't funny here, you know, I, I'm an English guy. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes coming to the States, sometimes they don't think our jokes are funny. Oh, I get uh, it. You know, and, <laughs> uh, you know, and, and, and vice versa. Some, some TV shows that are funny here don't work back in the UK. Yeah. And so you can imagine that, how that works around the world. And you, you're also now kicking butt here 
How I was know, that right? I mean, yeah. I took I took Statham down on a dance floor. I can tell you that. <laughs> I never in my life thought I'd be wrestling Jason Statham. That was great. If you would have told me ten years ago you're going to be in Budapest wrestling Jason Statham to the ground, I'd have been like, what? <laughs> yeah, but I loved it. It was crazy. Go see Patrick. He's got special equipment for you. It's like the future. You're a spy. I know. You'll be given a new identity. And what about all the experience on set with all the uh, actors? You have action actors, you have also comedy actors. How was that mix? Right? It was fun. I think it made it raised everybody's game because you know the comedy people weren't used to working with with you know action people and vice versa. And then we have such great actors. But, you know, but the thing that unifies them all is that they all are all good actors, really yes. good actors. And that's that's the difference. Is they play it straight and they play it not like a comedy, and that makes it even funnier. Really fun. I Jude, I had more stuff with. Jason, I didn't, but he's so he's so funny in the movie. He just steals it. He's hysterical. And Jude was fantastic. He was just had such a glint in his eye the whole time, and he was having such a good time, you know, kind of doing this this parody. Great. I mean, we it's there's something I don't know. Something kind of great happened just right away. We had a big dinner right before we got started, and everybody was just laughing and kind of got along. I think everybody was so excited about the project, and also Paul. Paul runs a really, really happy set, and I think he makes sure part of his job, if you'll admit it or not, is I think putting people together that will kind of be happy and, and work well together, because his sets are always like that. I mean, we just, other than ruining lots and lots of takes because we were laughing, yeah. like, it's just a pretty, it's a pretty fun day at the office. Yeah. When we were in the in the field together. She was like, this is great. Let, we hate earpieces. Let's be together always, you <laughs> know. Spies together yeah. at all times. And um, yeah, and I loved working with Rose. I think the three of us, it just kind of worked, the combination. And seeing Rose as the villain was just brilliant. She was awesome. I'm missing a shirt that says, I've never felt the touch of a man. Ciao, Bella. Hey, come stai? I mean, it's all the international locations yes. and the beautiful settings and the you know beautiful costumes and all that. We have all the trappings of that, and then big action. I mean, we have we have a lot of action in the movie, as you saw, and yep. uh, which is nice because people don't expect that out of a comedy that you're gonna get real action. You went to a lot of locations, also. Yeah. How was that? You enjoy it? Was it hard? Hey, it's nice like... shooting in Budapest, which was yes. the majority. It was it's a beautiful city, and yeah. uh, the people there were. You know, as good as, as good as they come, they're really, really nice people. Well, actually, the magic of film meant that we were only in Budapest. Oh, so yeah. Budapest was an amazing city yes. for loads of reasons, but it also it doubled as Rome and Paris at one point. I think they did do some sh shots in Rome and Paris, but um, it was pretty much all all Budapest. So, okay. but it, that was great to be there. I loved it. You really think you're ready for the field? Leave the action to me. You also have some training. I was reading you had some training. Yeah, oh yeah, I had to. I mean, the to go into that kind of action, like you really, it, it, I learned a lot, because I really, I, I learned that you have to be so prepared, because if not, you can get hurt, somebody else can get hurt, so you really, you have to know what you're doing, because even when everything's right and you're trained and prepared, there's still, there's a big percentage of anything could happen, so I, I did as much training as I could, and, and I, I was just shot, even though it was so hard, and I had many, many bruises. Whoa. Oh, I fell so many times. Really? You can't, yeah, I'm running through cobblestone, wet streets and heels. Oh, God. Like, you'd just be like, you could only be so cool, and then you're like, ah! And, you and with wigs and Wigs and dress. Full, full dress, like, full-length dresses, but I loved it. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me, but I loved it. Yeah, you're a badass. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, how awesome. about that? Yeah, how about that's that? You are not to make direct contact with any of the targets. <laughs> you are incredibly out of your league. It's not fair. Oh, brother, butler. You've generated a new identity for you. Okay. After today, you will be known as Maya Martos. You are from Mexico City, Mexico. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're going to be infiltrating a cross-border hunting ring. There are hunters from Mexico and America, vice versa, crossing each other's borders and poaching their animals. Yep. We need you to pose as a bear. Yep. As a bear? Yeah, a bear. Okay. We're going to be wearing a bear. bear suit. 
a bilingual bear, obviously, which is going to be an asset. Yes. Nobody would buy it if, like, you're a bear and you're in Mexico City and, and you, you don't speak Spanish. Spanish. Yeah, I know it. Obviously, it's ridiculous. It's really good for you. Okay. And we don't we don't deal with the ridiculous. No, we certainly don't. If you had the chance to choose your own spy name, what would it be, man? Oh, uh, well, if I could choose it, I think it might be something cool like. Uh, you already have a cool name. Well, th oh yes, yes. Well, the, a name that nobody can pronounce. So I <laughs> think maybe I'll go with like uh, Rick Ferrari or something. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Come on. <laughs> that, that would immediately be found out as being a spy, though. Yeah. <laughs> well, Better a porn star, one of the different. Oh no. <laughs> it would be. I mean, you already have a cool name. Oh, thank Rose you, Warren, thank you. International spy. I would say my name would be. Joe's Dern. Joe's Dern. <laughs> That's great. That's, <laughs> That's already cool. So this is really hard because I've been asking this question. You already have a cool name, but most of my girls are a special agent. <laughs> what would it be? Are you? Oh my God. I don't know, but something. You know. It'd be a three namer. Okay. I mean, if I had to pick, I was. I think a three name is pretty good. <laughs> I mean, as a kid, I wanted to go by Ellis Carth. Oh, Which was like the middle of Melissa and the middle of oh, McCarthy. Oh, great. But, that's good. but it's not really a three name. I may have to think about it. Yes. Oh, anyway. <laughs> thank you very much. What's Melissa. yours? Uh, Did you well, have a spy name? I do have a spy name. What's your spy name? This is Maya Martos. I don't know why. This is the name of my dog. I'm, I'm like a bear here. And you're a bear. There yes. you go. Great. Makes perfect sense. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much, Melissa. Bye. It's a pleasure. Thank you. I'm a real spy. I move like a shadow. He means well. So you have a kind. Don't die out there. Okay, I'll do it. Or do. Hopefully not. Right, but it could happen. Yeah, I know. I can. You should go. Okay. Thank good you very much. I'm posting like a bear right now. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Anyway. It's good. I like that slouch. Go rub your back on a tree or something. I should do that. Yep. San Andreas World Tour, Mexico City, get the tequila ready. Here's them on my way. Wheels up. Hey, Cap. <laughs>